Hello everybody, another session. This is an important session because it shows you how to get your body in alignment. I'm beginning on the floor, so the important thing is to have a wall or some surface you can put your legs up against. Now, when you go on the floor, you know you always go onto your side, on your bottom, roll down, and then just swing your legs up. Now, ideally, you want your bottom against the wall, but if your legs won't go straight, then the bottom will have to come further away from the wall. And now the arms above the head. And you just hold it there. Now I'm just showing you this. This is the position you want to relax in and breathe. And then you start to bend the knees, which is the elastic bands in the hamstrings, and straighten. And while you're doing that, you can become very, very aware of the fascia, which means all the elastic bands that run right from the feet right up to the fingers and toes and right up to the skull. Make sure, things to watch, get hold of your skull and just lift it and lengthen it out so you've got your S shape in your neck. If you need to put a pillow there, do, okay? Now you could spend a long time just doing that, just bending and going into a wide second eventually. Uh, hopefully you've got a bit of wall. You can see I've got a very big wall here, so this is a very small second, but it's fine. If you can go wider, you'll let, I'm just going to shift a bit, you'll let your legs go wider. I've got a bit of a structure here, so I'm happy with that. And then I can bring one leg up and just let the other leg open completely wide onto the floor. Keeping that hip square. And then you bring it back up. And then you open the other leg completely wide to the floor. Now, if you, what you want also is to have these hands equal on the floor. And you'll feel that lengthening going on and you can actually do a bit of lengthening and then when that's enough you lift the arms up to the ceiling you go reach 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 across your chest shoulders down and then when you finish and you can spend a, a good length of time you could read a book here hug both knees to the chest really stretch the back out have a little rock decide which side you're going to roll onto let the head be really heavy let the shoulders be relaxed now, as I say, that's a great way of stretching out the hamstrings and calves and ankles, which will stretch the back. Hand on the floor, push up into a nice round ball to really open your vertebrae up, the spine up. Forehead on the hands and breathe into the back. I have a breath rhythm of in for four, four and out for seven. And that's, you've got to get a habit of knowing what your breath is doing. It's very important that you don't hold your breath, you continually breathe. And then you use your tummy, pelvic floor, and you lift that weight of the skull. Now, as soon as we're up there, we're gonna shrug the shoulders, and we're going to say, okay, I'm ready just to see if my spine can be very flexible, so I go into the C shape, and the flat back, shoulders back, elbows soft, C shape, and flat back. C shape and flat back, lift the tummy, lift the leg, just lift it, just swing it, feel it, feel the back stays held, extend, flex and point the foot, kicking that heel to the bottom, nice and loose, and then opposite arm, opposite leg, remember that you don't tense up, forehead moves to me in, and away, tummy strong, and all the way in. And all the way, and you can see I'm occasionally taking hold of that knee and just asking for a bit more length in the back. You know, but you can just take it to where you feel comfortable and then put it down and brush your bottom to the heels and brush your bottom to the heels and the other way and brush your bottom to the heels and brush your bottom to the heels. Now come up and just lift that leg as an open hip and bring it down. Use your tummy. Lift the leg and bring it down. Lift the leg and maybe extend it out if you're feeling bold. And bring it back, put it down. And C shape, open the knees, big toes together. And we have a little pause here. We stretch the whole body out. So the elbows are straight and then we bend them back. And then the elbows are lengthening. We can feel the length either side. And again, you want to make sure it's alignment, it's both sides equal. So if you bring your thumbs together, you will feel whether one side is tighter than the other. And the forehead is on the floor, and the back is a flat back, and you just breathe. 
and then bend your elbows back and curl, keeping that open second if you can. Good, and then you move your shoulders and then bring the knees together and use your tummy and your pelvic floor and just lift it up and go and do the other side, okay? So shoulders back, elbows soft, tummy strong, C shape and flat back. We're not doing the S shape, we're doing the C shape and flat back. And again, C shape. Feel there's a real C in your body. Draw the tummy up to the wall of the spine. Sphincter muscle, anus, your pelvic floor. Keep that and go into your flat back. Now you've got the support from the tummy. Swing the other leg. Just lift it and swing it. Good work. That's it. Then extend it. Flex and point the foot. Shoulders back. Elbows soft. Because you don't want to tense up any part of your body. Except this tummy. It's not tense. It's lifted. Kicking the heel to the bottom. So it's not tight. It's lifted. Opposite arm. Opposite leg. So here we go. Forehead nose to knee. Stretch it out. As I say, if it's a bit tight, just gently ask of the length. You want the length. Keep your tummy. Last one coming up. Stretch it out. Put the hand down. Now just wiggle your pelvis. Wiggle. Just swing it side to side. But try and keep the shoulders still. And then just rotate. Rotate. So you're using your tummy muscle to lift that centre. Then you keep it. Now go the other way. Rotate, rotate. You might put your chin to the chest on the lift and then come back to that flat back. Lift the other leg out to the side as we did with the other leg and bring it out if you wish or just put it down. And again, just lift. And if you can stretch it out, you can feel those muscles and bring it down. Then C shape, open the knees, big toes together. Fabulous flat back. And then breathe. And this time when you bend your elbows back and uncurl using your tummy, just have a nice shoulder shrug and a little rotation one way and a rotation the other way. And we'll do that again because it's a spinal rotation. And then keep, come back to center, keep the big toes together. Hold your abdominals, put your hands on those tummy muscles. Feel they go into the wall of the spine. Walk the body forward, but keep the big toes together because you're going to make a plank shape with an open hip. So go onto your elbows, shoulders back, and keep lifting that tummy so you can feel the adductor muscles in your hip. And if you feel you can just take it a bit deeper, do, but don't let the body collapse. Good work. That's it. And breathe. And we might walk it back a little bit now because we might have not done that for a while. And we'll just go into that prey again. That big stretch. And then we walk it forward from there this time. So shoulders back. Push the pelvis forward. Big toes together. Keep that tummy engaged. Try not to make too much of a dip in the back. It's a natural S shape. It's not a plank. There's a natural S shape. You've still got to use your tummy because we're trying to stretch those adductor muscles, which help the back, which is also the psoas, isn't it? And walk it back again. And the last big stretch there, head on the floor, should be feel nice and easy now. Maybe bend the elbows back and stretch them out again and bend the back. Bring the knees together, cut the hands, forehead on the cupped hands. Remember this is a round back and we want the heels on the bottom. Yes, if possible. And then let the hands go, head on the floor, gently get the hold of your feet and feel that you're lengthening. So that when we use the tummy again, abdominals lift weight, the weight of the skull. We can feel the feet and we tuck the toes. Now I think this is terribly important because very rarely do we tuck the toes and I need you to do that. And we might as well swing these arms and shoulders because that's a good one to do. We'll just do that and we'll just do a shrug and a shrug and a full spine stretch. Good. And then we let it go and we put the foot in the arch arch of the foot and sit on those heels and you can feel the tummy still holding the weight of the skull and your posture's there you feel balanced you don't feel one hip is twisting or pushing out and then come up and just swap and put the foot in the other arch and again if it feels all oh, you know you got to do it because what happens is the body gets sticky when it's not used enough 
and that's the clicking, rounding, popping. It's the fascia, the stickiness. There's not enough blood supply. Okay, let's come up. Now we're going to use the chair. We want to do a jazz stretch using a chair. Chair is very useful, not to sit on. Chairs are wonderful to practice on. So we want to open the hip. So you're kneeling quite close to the chair. I know this is quite demanding. Bring the leg parallel, lift it and pop it on that chair. Now, you hope the chair doesn't move. So there you are with your bent knee. And there is a lovely straight line. Everything's straight. Now slide the chair away and straighten the leg. And again, the body didn't move. Yeah, should we do that again? Because that might be a bit wobbly. So bring it back. Let's just get this right. Bring it back. Right? Foot's at the edge. And put it down. And bring it back. I know it's quite demanding that, isn't it? Take a breath, say to your brain, I'm just gonna lift my leg and put it on the chair. So if you need to use your sides here to balance do, if not, lift your head, lift the body, say to the body, lift. Leg comes right up. Now you've got balance as well, well done. Now put your hands there and straighten the leg out. There you've got a lovely straight leg. Now can you fold? So just walk the hands so that you take hold of either side of the chair. So now you've got real length going on, haven't you? If the chair is too close, just move it away so you'll get more stretch, you have to lean further. If the chair is close to you, that's easier, isn't it, for the arms and shoulders. But the more length we have, the happier the body is. So then we stretch and flex, keeping the knee, if you can, straight. And we stretch the foot and flex, heel comes off. And you breathe, you can feel that working, can't you? Yes, <laughs> just let it work, good. And then come up, just lift, nice stretch. Now we want to go to the top of the chair. So pull in the tummy and just reach to the top there. So there's a nice reach, if you can. You know, if it's too much, just go where you go. And bring it back, now this is what I want. Slide that foot back, take hold of it underneath, take hold of it to help you, because you've got to bring it back and not lose your balance. <laughs> Other leg. So breathe, maybe bring the chair a little closer. Tell the brain, use your hands here if it helps, but that leg has got to lift straight on to start. Should we do that again because it's practice? So take it away, feel the body stays balanced. Use your tummy, use your pelvic floor, look up, Tell the body, lift that leg up. Well done. Then put your hands there. Slide the leg away, if you can, or the chair away to give you the length. Take a breath and reach for the either side of the chair. Big stretch. Good. And then flex the foot. Heel comes off and point the foot. Relax shoulders, flex the foot. I mean, you can put your hands by the side of the chair here. That's fine there. If you're getting that stretch, you see the good thing with the chair is it's like a bar. You, you're balanced. You've got it there. Good. And then if possible, lift it out, tummy strong, and reach at the top area there. So you've got a real lengthening going on. Oh, yes. And breathe. And then let it relax. Chest. Now, if you want to put your nose to the knee, which is a round back, you can, and you uncurl with that. So then you uncurl, you bring the leg back up with a bent knee, and you take it back. Good. Now, we might feel we want the upper body stretched out. So using the chair, walk your body back, use your hands first maybe, put your body on the floor, and then lift both arms to go on the chair, on the seat. Ears by those arms. Don't drop the head, just hold it there, natural shape. And again, breathe and feel that whole upper back stretching out. Now, obviously, the higher you go, the more it's going to lift you more, but it's just be sensible, yeah, be safe, be happy, and feel, yeah, I'm getting a stretch from those hands through the whole length of the arm all the way down through my body. And when you feel it's enough, just let the arms drop down and rest the forehead on the hands. Yes, we'll do that again. So, tummy, lift one arm, keep the head where it is. Tummy, lift the other arm. Just let the body relax there. And breathe. Good. 
It's nice, isn't it? You can feel that's, that's really helpful and nice, especially if you sit a lot with a computer with the bent elbows. You're getting that full stretch all the way up. As I've always said, one bit of the body will affect another bit. You've got to work the whole lot from the toes right up to the fingertips. And then again, if you feel that's enough, just let one go, let the other go, rest the forehead on the hands. Now, using your tummy, lift a leg. Lift one leg, good. You can keep your forehead on the, on the hands if you wish, but pull up and brace the tummy and lift that leg. And then bend the knee and continue to lift that leg. Good, feel the muscles, feel your glutes. And then extend the leg and just circle. Draw a circle. There's your glute muscles. Relax your chest, relax your shoulders, pull up your tummy. Both ways. Good, put it down. Lift the other leg, just lift it. When you lift that other leg, make sure the pelvis doesn't move. Yeah, all the time the pelvis is rooted to the floor. It's just the weight of the leg and you can feel those glute muscles doing the job. And then bend the knee and lift it a bit more. Good. And then extend the leg and circle it. Circle. Good. And then put it down. Now, opposite arm, put it on the chair, opposite leg. So now you're helping yourself here. Keep this hand just relaxed there. Put it down. Take a breath. Remember, keep breathing. Breathe out with the effort and then breathe normally. Other arm, opposite leg. We'll do that again. So bring it down. Brace tummy and lift. And again, you can feel that's lovely stretching through, lovely strength from the tummy. And bring it down. And again, lift. Good. Yes, and bring it down. Now put the hands by the shoulders, push up, elbows in, good, and bring it down. And again, push up, keep the pubis, that's your pubic bone on the floor, and then push right up, C shape, open the knees, big toes together, back we go to a full back stretch. And breathe, and bend the elbows back, and stretch them out. Now we'll help the neck. Before we do any more with the quads and the glutes, come up. Put the elbows on the floor, feel your balance. Slide the hand underneath the elbow, take the ear to the floor. So now we're stretching the neck and shoulders. A bit more. Keep breathing. Yes. And then slowly bring it back. And do the other way. So the hand goes underneath the elbow, your ear goes to the floor. Yes, try not to slide too much. Just feel that ear to the floor, relaxed, breath. We'll do that twice. So come back, because neck and shoulders are so important, especially if you're sitting a lot at a computer. All the way through. Your ear should be on the floor. The head weight is heavy. The tummy is still engaged. And then bring it through. Once more, tummy. Hand goes underneath, enjoy. Feel how nice that is for the body. It's lovely. And then bring it through. And now walk your body and just tuck toes, push back. Let's have a hamstring, heart, calf, ankle stretch and have a little pedal. And bend the knees and walk forward and shrug your shoulders. We'll have a full spine stretch, neck, shoulder release. Hands by feet, up goes the tailbone. Tummy strong, head heavy. Breathe, you've just folded, don't force. You know, just relax, feel the length in the body. Bend one knee, straighten it up. Bend the other knee, straighten it up. Again, one knee, let the head be really heavy and the shoulders heavy and the tummy really strong. Then both knees, wrap your hands just behind, hand to each elbow, and gently straighten up. There should be no alteration of the spine. If that is too much, keep the knees bent and straighten up. And then bend, let the arms dangle, link your hands at your back, turn the palms to the ceiling, and lift the arms towards the chair. Good, feel that stretching. And then let it go and lift the arms towards the chair. 
and let it go and dangle and then down you go sit on your bottom shake those legs out in front nice and loose now we want to see if we can take the arms back the other way so one arm on the chair <laughs> other arm on the chair challenging and lift your body really the back should be against the chair as much as you can feel that stretching that way and if it helps you can hold on to the chair you know by the sides there and you can feel and lift your chest because you want a flat back yes there we go there we go that's better and let it go so we'll try the harder one again right on the chair seat right on the chair seat she says struggling see we've all got to keep doing these and then lift the body lift the back look straight ahead breathe you can see i need to work at this <laughs> and then take hold of the back of the chair any way you can and then lift your back a bit more that's easier isn't it and let it go and show the chair we can feel those and let it go right bring the soles of the feet together and just let the hips open i'll turn and face you because that's probably more sensible and let one leg go out let the other leg go out put your hands behind push yourselves up as if you're lifting off your bottom now when you sit back on your bottom the back doesn't go forwards or backwards it stays where it is just lift the arms and let's go reach 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 good reach now can you stretch the toes as you reach and flex the toes as you reach and then stretch both maybe link the thumbs relax the legs but don't lose your positioning just put the hands behind lift the shoulders up and down lift the shoulders up and down now a spiral put one hand behind and push your body forward so you feel you're pushing your pelvis you're opening the hip and bring it center don't lose lift and put the other hand behind and just push the body forward so you can feel there's a little stretching going on you're pushing forward and bring it back to center and let the legs come together that will do us and bend the knees and bend the knees i want to do some ab work so get move the chair out roll onto your side roll onto your back just have a lovely big stretch out first and breathe and lift the arms up to the ceiling and go reach 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 cross your chest shoulders down arms to the sides little ankle rock little ankle rock there we go bend one knee bend the other knee glutes big toes into the floor lift peeling down each vertebrae going through the middle neutral and lift make sure the neck is in the right position you've got your s shape in your neck you're on the back of the skull and peel down hug a knee to the chest hug hold always do these especially if your back's feeling a bit stiff let it go hug hold take a breath in zip up the tummy and lift if you can just where you feel you can feel the tummy now is engaged extend the leg flex and point the foot maybe give it a gentle stretch just gently slide the other one away feel that gentle stretch put the head and shoulders on the floor you're still stretching bend the knee let it go along shake 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 before we do the other well we'll do the other side but before we do put your ankle between your big toe and the toe next to it okay arms out shoulder height take the legs over to one side turning the head the opposite direction and then lift and turn the head and the legs go the opposite direction let's repeat that one over we go can you feel the stretch all the way down through your back you want your feet to go right over keep that big toe with the ankle between the big toe and the toe next to it and lift there's a lot, lot of arthritis occurs in these toes and those joints and come back to center and swap so put the other ankle between the big toe and the toe next to it 
and over you go one way, lift the pelvis off, turn the head. Keep the shoulders and chest completely out of it, relaxed. And press tummy and lift, and we go the other way, turning the head. And we press tummy and we lift. I mean, these stretches you can do any time, and it just opens the whole back, doesn't it? And the right from the top of the body all the way down through the bottom. And over you go the other way. And come back to centre and hook. Just stretch and flex your toes, move your feet, open your toes, wiggle them. Then one knee, then the other knee. Feel the pelvis is there, glutes push up. Keep the chest soft, that's not involved. Peel down. Going through the middle, going through your neutral spine. This is your posture, your neutral. Hug the other knee to the chest, hug whole, stretching the back. If it feels very stiff, you need to do a few of these every day. Your back legs should just come easily towards your body. And then zip up the tummy, lock the pelvic floor because you're lifting the skull weight to lift it off the floor, nose to knee. And then straighten the leg. Now you've still got to engage the tummy. Straighten the leg you're holding, not the one on the floor. We haven't straightened that one yet. Flex and point, shoulders, chest relax. Feel that stretch. If you can walk your hands towards your ankle or your calf, Feel that stretch, then slide the other one away slowly so you feel that lengthening going on. Put the head and shoulders on the floor and give it another little bit of a stretch. Little bit. Good. And then bend the knee, hug, and along the floor, shake it out. Right, bend one knee, bend the other knee, lift one leg, lift the other leg, hug, hold, let it go. Hug, hold, feel the back, let it go. Let's put the hands on top of the knees and just ask for a little bit of massage over those joints. Just rolling. Yes? Now, keeping those legs close to you, roll to the side. Don't let the legs open out. Just roll right on your side, holding those legs. Those, put your hands around your knees. Hold your knees. That's it. Little fetal. And then use your tummy push in your elbow and go the other side. But don't let the knees go. Hold on to them. Relax your chest, relax your shoulders, lift. This is such a nice little movement for the back. Yeah, right over. Your head's got to be heavy, shoulders are heavy. Last one, push. Oh, push, she says. <laughs> over to the other side. And then up you come back to your centre. Put your hands slide underneath those legs. Let the knees go away now from you so you feel they're above the pelvis. Zip up the tummy, lock the pelvic floor, sink to anus tummy muscles. Look at the ceiling, look at the wall, look at your knees, extend the legs and lower and lift, little and lower. Now, if you feel it in your neck or shoulders, you're using your neck and shoulders, please don't. Yes? And gently up and down, feeling those tummy muscles. See now, I've said in the past, if this is too much, get onto your elbows, do it from there. If you can do it just as you've got it now, keeping that centre on the floor. Good. Now let's just do a cross scissor going down and a cross scissor coming up. And the upper body doesn't change, but you feel those muscles. You feel they engage. And up we come and down we go. And up we come and down we go. Good. And you can feel that tummy. And maybe that's enough, so then we stop, we check. Are my shoulder blades still off the floor? My shoulders relax. We put one foot on the floor, we put the other foot on the floor. We look at the ceiling and do a lift, and you're using the tummy. You peel down, and you breathe, and you lift your pelvis to do a high release. Lift, and then you peel down. Good, through the middle. And then we lift one leg, we lift the other leg, we take the knees to one side. We take the opposite arm to the knees, to the ceiling, the oblique muscles. We lift the upper body. Now once you're off the floor, you just do little lifts from the tummy. You hardly see the body moving at all. Definitely it's not the shoulders or the head moving. It's from the tummy lifting that weight. Feel it. Good. And then put it down, relax, breathe, take the, the weight over the other side. You've got a waist turn, you lift the opposite arm to the direction of the knees, 
pelvic floor tummy lifts that upper body. Look at the ceiling all the time, little lifts, little pulses, pressing the tummy into the wall of the spine. Thinking pelvic floor, thinking tummy, not panicking, just feeling you can do this. Good. We must the same that side and then we put it down and then we hug the knees to the chest. Hug, hug. And this time just put the soles of the feet together, put them on the floor and just rock the pelvis from side to side. Just rock and just let those legs open and be loose and easy. Okay, bring the arms to the front with an open hip you've got now. Zip up the tummy, lock your pelvis floor, sink to anus, look at the ceiling, look at the wall, look on your crutch. <laughs> and we go little lifts in an open second. Little. See how flat that tummy is. It mustn't pop out. And to the right knee. There it goes. Press tummy, press tummy, press tummy. Press tummy to the middle. Shouldn't have had that chocolate. It's lovely though, isn't it? Little pulses, little pulses. Lifting weight, lift the weight to the left knee now. You're at the left knee, right? Good, back to the middle. Good, and you can feel those muscles and you might say, oh, I'll do the other side. Again, back to the middle, again. You can feel the pelvis is heavy on the floor. And then to the other leg, pulse, yes. And that to the middle, that might be enough. Look at the ceiling, check your shoulder blades off. Now use your tummy, use your tummy. And you'll feel that S shape comes back the minute the head's on the floor. Bring the knees together, flop the knees from side to side, side to side. Windscreen wipers, open the knees, open the feet. Let it roll, let it roll, let the body roll. Let the whole body roll. Take the arms, reaching up to the side guy, reaching up, opening out, and then stretching through until you feel okay. On to the side, up we come, sitting up. Well done. Stretch the legs out, pull in tummy and fold. Now, don't force, just relax your shoulders. Just pull in the tummy and reach. It doesn't matter if you don't get anywhere near your feet. Put your hands on the knees if necessary. You want that flat back. Now round the back, pull in your tummy, chin on chest. Now flat back. Good. Now round back, you got the idea. Now flat back. So you can feel it's the tummy that creates that lovely round back. Now flat back. Now lift the heels off if you can. Good. And then round back. And curl. Take a breath. Spiral. Spiral. Bend the knees. Now, there's no point in having a chair if we're not going to use it. So we're going to go up to the chair. Find your chair again. Bring it to you. Because I want you to be able to get on a chair and to get off the chair without using your spine, yeah? The skull and the spine don't do any work, it's the muscles. So you've got one leg in front, you tuck the other leg behind, you push yourself straight up, that leg is ready there to put your bottom on, with a bit of luck, the seat, <laughs> right? Now when you're sitting, you can have your feet, you know, apart, very apart, I mean, that's why we'll turn the chair around maybe in a minute. But the important thing is that you, when you sit comfortably, you push your body right in. Right? That's fine. But when you decide it's time to get up, you need to push your body to the edge of the chair. Because you don't want this. This is a no-no. Because that's head and spine. What we want is that leg. It can either be either leg. One is back, one in front. You've got to say to your brain, straight up and balance and then you can walk off. You're ready to walk off. Now when you come back, yeah, toe ball here, find the back of the chair with your ankle or your calf. Keep the body, keep the tummy. How slow can you sink into that chair without the head swinging or the spine swinging? Do you get it? We'll do it, I'll do it with the other leg in front so you've got a good feel for this. 
It's terribly important, make this a habit, because backs don't suddenly go, they go because they've been misused. Okay, so the tummy is there, the shoulders, chest to relax, so you can feel that push up, straight up. And then of course it's heel, ball, toe, walking, yeah? And then when we want to go back into a chair, we find the back of the chair. We don't look down, we keep the body straight. We find the seat, so then you haven't used your spine at all. Good work, do you get it? Now sit right in that chair, say you're busy working. Well now, ideally the feet should be on the floor with whichever chair you have, or you might need a little something. A spiral, a good spiral. You're at work, you've been sitting a while. Notice the pelvis doesn't move, your whole upper back has swung round. And you look over your shoulder and down. And then the other side, a full spiral. You look over your shoulder and down. Relax your chest, relax your ch shoulders. These you can do any time. You put your hands at the back of the chair. You open your chest, you feel, you breathe. Now, if you feel your back is very tight, there's nothing wrong with just folding and stretching out the back whilst you're sitting. That's a lovely thing to do. It's like a roll down, isn't it? And then you roll up. And you can even do a high release with the chair. How lovely is that? And then we can do a roll down, <coughs> opening the back, stimulating spinal fluid. Let the head and shoulders go. And you can even open your legs wide and swing your body. Swing it, make sure you know you, re you really feel you're balanced. And back to the middle and keeping the feet wide, you come up. Good. And that's honestly, there's, I think you could, there's so much more you can do with the chair. For example, we're going to come up again. We'll do this last one and then I'll say goodbye. It's enough. Put the leg back. Shift yourself forward. Remember, you're in your seat. You've done your computer, whatever. Look up. Use your leg muscles. Use your tummy muscles. Walk. Now, when you also can take the chair and sit on it, can't you? Nice open hip. The Christine Keeler look, if you remember that. Nothing wrong with that. Great. Now, if you can manage to do some work there or even hang there. You know, wonderful for the back, wonderful for the legs. You can feel your balance. You can open them very wide if you want. You can really stretch them out. How super is that? Is that enough? I think it is. Okay. Well done. See you next time. <laughs>